So Lori came to me one day with all of her great ideas and said, we're going to be YouTube stars and we're doing a YouTube channel. I said, why? Well, we're going to do it about real estate. Why? Because it's free platform that can create so much lead generation. And so then she had me listening. Um, she's great about doing her research. And so what we came up with the first year, we were cold calling, we were paying for a home bot, we were spending endless money on Facebook ads, um, anything to get a client. We were stocking, I don't even know how many people on Facebook. Um, anyways, when she had started telling me about how YouTube could work for us and create that lead generation for free, she had me. What we've done is all the research on keywords and top five videos that you need to do in order to get that first phone call. We've only been doing YouTube for only one month and already have calls coming in over these five topics that you need to do a video on. It's Lori from Colorado's Finest and Just Finest Agents. And you don't want to miss a single video that we're going to do this year. We are going to walk you through how to start that YouTube channel. We have done the research, so make sure you hit that subscribe button or that bell below so you don't miss a single video. In this episode, we are going to tell you the top five videos you must do in 2021 in order to start your YouTube channel. We have done the research and we've only been doing this for one month and we already have calls coming in. It is magic and it is amazing and it's something that you must do to stay on top of your market in 2021. So number five is a city tour. So you need to take that sit, you need to take your city and you go around and you drive them through the neighborhoods. So you can label it for your keyword, Colorado Springs or whatever your city is, full blog tour 2021. You can search those keywords and we're gonna show you in other videos so make sure you subscribe how you find those keywords. So the, again, these are the top five. So the number one is you must drive around your neighborhood. Show them where it is to live, right? Kaylee and I used to do videos on appraisal gaps and inspections or a video of a home we had listed on the MLS. Guys, no one watches that, right? Think about what you would search if you were going to move to a city, right? You want to know about the neighborhoods, about the schools pros and cons. So number five is a full city tour. Take them around, show them the neighborhoods, show them what the schools may look like, drive them through it. That's what Kayleen and I did. We took them on a full vlog tour starting in the north of our city and worked all the way through the neighborhoods. People watch it. So the number four video you're going to want to do is pros and cons of living in your city. So Colorado Springs, I could tell you all the beautiful uh, views that you get and all the fluff of why Colorado is great because it is great but people also want to know the real uh, you know I have to wash my car three times a week because it snows and then it gets sunny and then you have slush and you know that's frustrating um, I can tell them that sports for kids cost more here because you're in a club sport you aren't just doing rec league um, you can take your experiences, your personal opinion, and put them in a pros and cons list and just speak from the heart. You know, I'll have my cheat sheets out and I'll have my list there. And then after I present, you know, whatever it is on my list, I can just talk from my heart about why I put it on my list. That's easy to do. So number four, do a pros and cons of living in your area. All right, so the number three video you must do in 2021 is your top five neighborhoods. If you want to do the top six, that's fine, but you want to be the expert of neighborhoods in your area. And again, that they are moving there. They don't know anything about the city usually. You are the experts. They want to know about the schools. They want to know about the HOAs. They want to know about the parks in that area, even the restaurants. So top five neighborhoods, be honest, be real. Now, can you steer them? People ask us this question all the time. No, but you can reference a source that may give you um, information on that neighborhood, whether that's niche.com niche 
or whatever that website would be. So take them around, show them those top five neighborhoods, even within a section that you love, be their eyes and ears, and people will reach out and contact you. We're down to the number two video that you must do, and that is give them the cost of living in your city. So what Lori and I did is we run a Facebook group, um, have about 5,000 people that belong to our group, and we did some questions and polled our audience, and we asked them, what's your average utility bill? Who do you use for your internet? What is your mobile phone service like here? All of these things that if you're talking with a real client, they're gonna ask you anyway. So we just did our research and you know did a quick little poll and came up with an average cost of living. Now you can also look up average costs online. I would just uh, make sure and reference where you got that information from. Um, but just give them, you know, we showed them our actual utility bill. I don't know if you have, you know, some places you'll have propane bills that can fluctuate. You just explain that to people and paint the picture for them how much money they're, they're going to be spending each month living in your city. The other thing you can touch on is how much it's going to cost them to get there. Um, you know, if you have a hot market like what we have, you may want to talk about appraisal gaps and whatnot, but you don't have to go into detail. Just let them know they're going to want approximately $10,000 in their pocket to be able to actually have a competitive bid in your market or what, whatever the amount is. But just be honest, let people know. Um, it won't scare them off. They're just going to ask questions. And with that being said, if they comment, um, you know, any comments, just try to interact and try, try, try to keep those conversations going as best as you can. All right, so if you guys are loving these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button or that bell. We're gonna do videos on all these different topics, even from your scripts you should use and how you hook them in and how YouTube um, ranks your videos. All of those secrets that we have learned and we are already getting called you guys after one month. This is the new way to recruit clients without having to cold call and we love it. So hit that subscribe button or that bell and drop us a comment. Where are you from? We would love to network. We are increasing our networks across the country. So let, drop us a um, comment below where you're from. Shoot us a text. We would love, love to reach out to you and network with you as well. So you've been waiting. So the number one, the number one video, and it kind of goes with the pros and cons, but people love it and people click it. And that's what's important. And number one is why you shouldn't move to your city. So 10 reasons why or five reasons why you should not and you capitalize that not and you make a fun, fun thumbnail, we're gonna go over thumbnails later as well, is why you should not move to that city and that grabs people's attention. Most people say, oh, it's so great, but why should you not move to the city? And people click it. So go, with, go through that and say why you shouldn't move to your city and have people comment below, interact with your videos and you guys will definitely start getting those calls people wanting to move to your city and costs for free lead generation.